Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So I have been receiving a lot of mails to create a video on swept command as well as surface modeling commands. So here I'm coming with the first command in surface modeling that is swept command. So swept is a command uh, which can be used in uh, simple ways as well as in complicated ways. So in this video, I'm going to show you simple to complicated ways of creating a swept command. So the different methods I'm going to discuss in this video will be on one section, one guide curve and two sections, one guide curve, two sections, two guide curves and three sections, one guide curve. So these are the different methods we can able to create in a swept command. So once you understand all these methods, then you will be very clear in what situation, what kind of a commands will be used. So now we can see uh, our NX is open. So now I'll just go to new file so i'm going to create a model file and i'll just click ok so now we are into a modeling workbench and uh, you don't need to go to any other modeling workbench for surface modeling you can see here there is a surface commands so already they are available in the same part modeling application ok so now i'm going to discuss with you about the first method that is one section one guide curve so now i'm going to create a first section so i'll just go to sketch on this bottom plane and I'm going to create a simple rectangle. Okay. So this is going to be my simple rectangle. I'll just click finish. So this is going to be my section curve. So I want to create a one guide curve now. So I'll just go to sketch again. So now I'm going to select this plane because so always the guide curve will be normal to the section curve that whatever we are going to select. So if this is our section curve so and the guide curve will be on this plane okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just draw a line here so this is my line okay and i'm going to draw one more line here and let me go to so here we have a sharp edge so i'll just hit f which is a fillet so i'm going to give a fillet here and now finish the sketch so as we are already discussing one section and one guide curve, so that is ready. This is going to be our section curve and this is going to be my guide curve. Surface command and swept here. Okay. So my section curve, as I already discussed with you, this is my section curve and my guide curve will be this. Okay. So once I give this, you can see here our swept is going to create and it is completely solid body. Suppose if in your case you are creating this for surface modeling. So what you can do is you can just go to settings here and you can just change to sheet. So this applies in all the kinds of swifts. Okay. This option will be available. So if you want a solid model, you can keep it as a solid. Suppose if you need a sheet metal, sorry, surface, in that case, you can just select this as a sheet. Okay. Now you can, if you click, okay, you can see here our swept is being created. So now the next method I'm going to discuss with you is two section, one guide curve. Okay. So now let me delete this. And already we have one section and one guide curve. So I'm going to create one more section. So how are we going to create? So I'll just go to plane here and I'm going to create a plane at this end point and I'll just click OK. And here I'm going to select this plane as a my section. Okay. So here I'm going to create a rectangle again from this center point. So you can see here. Okay. And here again, I'm going to make a fillet. Okay. Go to fillet and select this. So 7 mm, we can give it in all the states. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So now I'm going to finish it. So now you can see here my first section, second section, and this is going to be my guide curve. So again, we are going to surface and swept command okay here i'm going to select a first section so this is going to be my first section and now if you want to add one more section here you can just go to add new section on this plus mark or else you can just hit the middle wheel button okay so once you hit the middle wheel button it will be going to new okay so here i'm going to select this again Okay, so always make sure when you are selecting a two swept sections, uh, whatever the vector is should be in the same direction. It should not be in the reverse direction. You can see here both are in the same direction. Now it is good. So now I need to select a guide curve. So this is going to be my guide curve. 
So now you can see here our profile is being created. Suppose if you want this to be in a in a surface, so you can just move it to sheet. Okay. So what is the difference between the first method and this method? So in the first method, when you create the whatever the profile that you have selected here, the first section, it is going to be remain same in the end of your guide curve. So but here when you are giving a two sections, so the section is going to change. You can see here the section here is completely rectangle and here you can see it is completely different. So that is the one advantage here. Suppose if your case, if you want a different shape on the end curve, you can use this two sections and one guide curve method. Okay. So now I'll just click. Okay. So the now the next method will be on two sections and two guide curves. So I'm going to delete this and this section and this datum plane. Okay. And so I'm going to delete this as well. So now what I'm going to do is I need two section curves and two guide curves. So in that you can see here only one section is there. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just go to plane and I'm going to create a plane here. Okay. And on this plane, I'm going to create one more section curve. It's okay. So I'll just go to section curve here and let me create a small rectangle. Okay. So this is going to be my second section curve. And now we need a two guide curves. So how we are going to do, we'll just go to sketch on this plane because it should be normal to section curve. So I'm going to go here and here what I'm going to do is I'll just go to arc and three point arc. So from this point to this point, I'm going to create a section curve. Okay. So one more curve I'm going to create in the same sketch and I'm going to select it in different way in swept command. I'm going to show you that. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just go to line here and here I'm going to create a simple line. Okay. So now I'll just finish the sketch. So now you can see here two section curves. This is a one section, second section and two guide curves. This is one guide curve and this is one guide curve. So now let me go to surface and swept command. Okay. So in this one, so my section, first section curve and second section curve. And make sure that when you are selecting the section curves, you need to have a same vector direction. And now I'll just go to guide curves. So in the guide curves, if your filter is selected to feature curve or inferred curve, suppose if it is a feature curve, it is going to select both the curves. So now I'm just going to unselect this and keep it always as a single curve. If you have created a number of curves in a simple, in a single sketch, so don't keep this filter as a feature curve or inferred curve. So always keep it as a single curve when you are selecting, okay? So now I keep it as a single curve. I'm going to select this curve, okay? So once I select this, you can see it is being generated, but this is not our requirement. So I'm going to add a new set by clicking it here, new, or I'll just hit middle button, okay? And then now need to select a one more curve which I have select created. So for that, I'll just move it to static wireframe and I'm going to select this. So now we'll go to shade it. Okay. So now if I click OK, you can see our model is being created in a two different guide curves. So whatever the guide curve you have given on the left side is curved and whatever the right side, it will be in a straight path. So this is the way if you want this kind of shape in that case, you can use two sections and two guide curves. Okay. So now the next method will be three sections and one guide curve. So here what I'm going to do is first I'll just delete this and I'm going to delete this. Okay. And I need a three section curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a plane here between these two. I'm going to create one plane. So I'll just go to bisector and this is my first plane this is my second plane between these two exactly at the middle one plane has been created so it is not recommended you need to create it in the middle itself it is not so you can create it anywhere so now i'll just click okay and i'm going to go to sketch on this plane okay so here i'm going to create a simple circle okay and i'll finish this so now we have three sections but one guide curve we need. So I'm going to create it on this plane. So guide, uh, so in this method, the guide curve will be plane circle, uh, you know, line. So I'm going to create. So I'll just finish this. Okay. So now let me go to surface again 
and swept command and here as well i need to create a section so this is my first section hit the middle button second section so now you can see here the direction is reverse so we need to double click on this to take it on the same direction and now middle button and i'm going to select this third section and one guide curve so this is going to be my one guide curve so as soon as you enter here you can see so whatever the shape that is created is not good so we need to align the points so here uh, it is a very tricky point so what you can do is you can just go to alignment here so instead of parameter you can just give the points okay once you give the points you can able to you know move these points so you can see here whatever the points it is selected so these points it is selected by default okay so you can just move this to your nearest shape okay so i'm going to move this here on all the four sides So now it is looking good. So if this is your desired shape, so you can just click OK and you can create a swept. But in one more thing here is you can just go to interpolation and here you can just select a cubic. So if you select a cubic, you can see here there will be a shape created along which it will have a tangency between the faces. OK, so suppose if you want these tangents to be created in a single curve, so you can just go to blend option. So once you have a blend option, so it will have a single curve with you know tangency in the middle okay so this is going to be our three sections and one guide curve okay so you can just click ok and your model is being created so suppose if this is a solid and if you want it as a sheet you can just go to body type and select a sheet and you can just click ok and you can see our surface is being created so these are the different methods of creating a swept command so if you practice on these methods so it will be very clear for you how the swept command is going to work so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys